you guys i want to just stay at home and sleep but these children are dragging me out of the house you can they just watch like um youtube and relax yourself you're just gonna be out like playing that's all that is all. Or you can go back home. I can't or go you, back home. I can't leave you again. Or you can drop us there and then come back. There's something on your head that needs to be cut off. Your head is always picking up lint. Wow, lint. Sophia, do you really want to go? Do you want to stay at home with me and sleep? Mama, uh, there's another. I want to go outside. You want yeah. to go? Wait, it's coming. I will. I injure myself. When? To the fly. It's not fly that injured you, Sophia. I don't know when you say getting scared of outside. Hmm? Go and play with your sisters now. Go and play. Nothing beats you. That thing has been is even dry. It's an old wound. Go and play now. I'm scared. What are you scared of? Flies. Sophia, flies are harmless. They can't hurt you. The flies, the flies are even scared of you. Yes, the flies are scared of you. I'm a monster. <laughs> no, you're not a monster. But you're big and the fly is small. To catch a fly. How many flies do you want to catch? There are so many around here. Flies. The flies can't do anything to you, Sophia. Go and play, go and play. See other children. See guys, they are playing with the dog. Go and play, go and pet the dog. Mm. Why are you doing your hand like that? Because flies are going to take my hand away. So what are you doing? I'm just holding my hand. You're holding your hand? No, I'm just holding my hand like this. The fly can touch it. Okay, then go and play now. Mm, I think I'm too scared. You want to go back home and sleep? <laughs> careful, careful, don't do, do too much. Call Sophia. Okay, calm down now. One of the parents here gave her bubble, so she has been so happy. I'll go and buy more for her. Whoa! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> yes. So we are back, and the kids are just having some fruit. I begged Sophia to give me some of her banana, and she said no. Because banana has finished, what we have here is just apples and tangerine. I think I'll just have this one. I but I wanted just a bite. Hey, Jesus, she finished it too. <laughs> Kiwi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if I can help her, uh, um, um, or did this thing, can help her put it down. But did you guys have fun? Sophia, I begged you for banana, you did not give me. Now you're forcing someone to eat your apple. Apple? <laughs> I want apple. Ah. Okay, um, so let me talk about my experience with the dentist yesterday. So we all went to see the dentist. We registered, you know, the whole family there. And I'm not really sure how this one works. I know that it is not under, like, uh, medical insurance. I don't know. I know the company is covering it, but I don't know if it is... I don't think it is under the NHS, whatever, whatever. Anyway, I'm not sure how it works here, but this is just a private practice, I think. Like, the place is so small and cute. It's like someone's house, but it's not... It's like a cottage, right? Yeah, it's like a cottage, and it's so cute. So when we got there, 
Um, their services were really good. The doctor that saw us, yeah, he's an Indian. The doctor is quite good as well. Very patient, very thorough, like very, very thorough. And, you know, two things struck me about our interaction, right? So the first one was that he said, when he got to Everston, I told him about Eva's issues, right? He did x-ray for me and my husband. And then he, I told him about Eva's issue. If you guys don't know, Eva has two teeth that never came out. That is this... Not this front teeth, the side one before the canine, her teeth never came out. Like it was never there as baby teeth and it never fell or anything, right? So in Nigeria, when we took her to the hospital, they went she went for an x-ray. Like he did an x-ray for her and they told us that they could not find the other teeth in there. Like so she doesn't have the second teeth, right? So there's nothing we can do about it basically until she's way older. So but when we got to this doctor, the doctor was saying that they shouldn't have done an x-ray on Ava, that she's too young, that there's really no need for an x-ray because the radiation that the x-ray produces is actually a lot and it's too much for a child for a situation that is not a life or death situation. I'm just paraphrasing, you know, like I'm just paraphrasing from what I understood from what he said. He was saying that it wasn't necessary for her to get an x-ray done because really was the was really the use at this age, knowing that we can't even intervene at this age. What was now the point? Uh, you know, and and you know they like to err on the side of caution. You shouldn't be exposing children to such radiation at such young age. Like anyway, now God go protect my picking sha. But I found it quite odd that in Nigeria it wasn't a problem. They didn't really complain. They didn't say anything about it. I'll ask my husband if they did though, because he was the one that took Eva for her appointment. But I don't think they had any concern about not doing x-ray. It was just like a no-brainer, like just go and get your x-ray done. Anyway, um then he also okay, then I now showed him the x-ray that they did, and then he said that. There's a shadow he's seen behind her two front teeth because he now explained the x-ray to me. The guy was very, very patient. Like he was explaining everything to me as if I'm his, uh, uh, what do they call it? Like a medical student, like a, a what, what do they call them? Like a student that's just under them, right? He was explaining everything for me, even using all the big, big English and the words, like the medical terms for all those things. I was just like, okay, okay. I could understand anyway, but yeah, anyway. So he said that he showed me the x-ray and showed me, you know, these are the teeth that have not yet come out. These are the ones that are about to come out. These are the ones that are already out. These are the, like, these are the teeth that you can see, you know, and stuff like that. So behind these two front teeth, he said he could see a shadow of, and he showed me, not even that he said, he showed me the shadow of two other teeth, okay? Now, he's saying that one of the reasons why they don't even do x-ray for young kids is that it's usually not even so clear. So, why are you even stressing the child at, at that age? So, he was now saying that because of it, that shadow that he saw might not actually be extra teeth. It might just be that, you know, the thing did not read it well. But So, basically, long story short, we have to wait, Right? But I don't think the other person pointed out those shadows because the other person said that, especially in Nigeria, said that there was no teeth whatsoever, like waiting to come out or anything. But this guy was saying that he can see a shadow of two teeth, and I saw the shadow myself. But again, the shadow might actually be just error from the x ray or something, anyway. So after that, you know, he then asked us what kind of toothbrush do we use and all of that. It was pretty simple. Basically, he said that all of us have good hygiene, but that I should try and make the kids brush twice a day because they are more prone to infections at a young age, of which I know and I try to enforce. But sometimes I get tired and I forget, okay, about enforcing, you know, brush your teeth before you go to bed. I mean, in the mornings, they always brush their teeth, but in no, not, not all the mornings, what am I even saying? Some mornings when they're not going to school, I have to go and remind them, have you brushed your teeth? Have you brushed your teeth? <laughs> I just be like the teeth police. Open your teeth, let me see. Have you brushed your teeth? You know, that's in the mornings. But in the evening, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I don't even, you know, pay attention to it and they just go to bed like that. So he said I should try and enforce it. Um, Ava, Cora has just one procedure. And hey, another thing he told me to stop was I should stop fruit juices because Ava's, Cora's teeth is already eroding. You can see that there's some wear on the teeth already. And these are just, these are new teeth. You know, she just had a... Um, permanent teeth come out they shouldn't have been eroded that much even though he's saying it's not too much yet but that i should prevent it from getting worse so i should stop giving them any kind of fruit juice or they should just eat the fruit raw but we should skip fruit juices and i was like good thank you for telling me because my husband buys juices a lot me personally i'm not really a fan of juices 
My mom is worse though. I like Coke. <laughs> so my mom is worse. I'm not trying to say, oh, I don't take juice. Eh, I take what is even worse, right? So, but my husband takes, buys a lot of juices. And funny enough, him that he buys and drinks a lot of juices, his teeth was like 10 over 10. They didn't even recommend anything for him. Yes, can I help you? Can I just pack this? Hmm? Can I just pack this? You want to pack it? Have you finished arranging your room? Oh, I think no. You think no? So what are you doing here? Ah, I want to touch your eyebrows. My lashes. If you want to go to the playground, finish your room. Arrange your room, perf. As in, I don't see anything out of place. You know how I arrange your yeah, room, I'm right? Yeah, already almost done with my room. You know how I arrange your room, right? Yes. Nothing I, is like. There's nothing in the room. Nothing out of place. Everything is perfect. All the lines are aligned. The way I arrange this place, because if I arrange here and I'm able to clean here up. And arrange my room. My room is just my clothes that I was changing and changing. Once I sort that out, then we can go and play. If the weather is not below 14 degrees. Weather. Do not. Do not even try it. It stays hot. It stays bright for longer these days. Like yesterday by 8 p.m. Everywhere was still kind of bright. It started getting dark before 9 p.m. And I also bought this bubble thing. Yeah. But I have not fixed it. Well, Where's actually, and I've actually seen that online. Where's the bubble to a bubble maker? No, we need to put in the batteries and stuff. Where is it? Okay, it's on the kitchen. No, let's be what moving. is on the kitchen. Go and finish arranging your room. Yeah, I'm cleaning up my makeup, that's why I'm still here. Okay. Normally, before I put my makeup back, I have to clean everything. See, yeah, I can employ somebody just to help me clear up after I finish filming. Because once I finish filming, I'm tired and not in the mood. But I have to clean up. Especially now that me and my husband are sharing office. I have to clean up before he comes back. Or when he comes back, he likes to set up his stuff here. So I don't have a choice. There are times though when I was so tired and I just left it like that and he cleaned it up himself. But it can't be a common thing now. Like, it can't, it can't be an everyday occurrence. So I just have to do what i gotta do okay who asked me to go and promise what i'm not in the mood for you who is that sophia sophia is to stress these children sophia stresses actually cora because she likes cora a lot <laughs> i mean she likes both of them but she's more she plays more with cora than with eva so sometimes i just hear cora say this child leave me alone what did i do to you and i'm like good Good, you're not the new mommy. You're not seeing what I'm the same. <laughs> Sophia, come here. What is it? Why are you disturbing Cora? Why were you saying blah 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 to Cora? You run away. You said blah blah blah, you run away. Why? Is it good? Hmm? It's not good. So why are you doing it? Hmm? Are you a good girl? You're a good girl. So good girls don't do that, okay? You are a Jesus baby, okay? And Jesus' babies don't do that, okay? Yeah. Are you guys done? Yup. Yup. Ah, <sighs> you guys, I just finished filming videos. And I just finished filming this week. You guys, this week is so beautiful. The makeup is on point. The outfit is on point. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm about to go now, remove the wig, remove my makeup, and start mumming. <laughs> I start mumming up and down but yeah i just remember that i have been vlogging or i started a vlog but i can't even remember if i concluded that vlog or not so if i did not i'm going to add this clip there <laughs> that's why i'm making this clip um i really enjoyed the live this morning you guys actually kept me company while i was making while i was doing my makeup and i'm happy that i kept some people company as well but yeah let me wrap things up here i'm so hungry i'm so tired i'm so exhausted i just need 
to rest but we move yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.